Hey guys, I'm going to make a couple of videos, uh, just tying up some loose ends and, um, you know, going through and, and trying to correct some things that I've seen as I've uh, gone through and graded some of the stuff that you've turned in so far. And um, these are maybe not in order as you were presented with them, but um, I'm just trying to, to create these as I run into them. Okay, so as you're looking at the backside of uh, Grandfather Mountain there, I am going to throw something up here and we're gonna look at it. Okay, in, in chapter three, we ran across this equation. Of, it was uh, actually, 3.1, right? And it was a uh, an equation for resistance. And the resistance is given, and the resistance is actually given at a particular temperature. Um, and it is based on 20 degrees C, which is around 68 degrees Fahrenheit. But, but what that says is that the resistance is equal to the resistivity, and that is unique to a particular type of material, be it copper, gold, silver, aluminum, whatever, okay? And that would be determined, uh, you know, like in a lab and, you know, for, for copper, uh, it comes out to be, and copper is the one that we will, of course, encounter the most. It comes out to be approximately 10.3. And then the units, the units are what I wanna talk to you about, okay? So the units for resistivity, it's 10.37 at 20 degrees C, and it's measured in something called circular mill ohms per foot. Mm, a lot of problems here, right? Number one, we don't know what a circular mill is really. And then the other thing is he's measuring, it, it's given you know, in relation to feet, all right? So you know, we've talked about SI units Right, in, in SI units, when we're talking about uh, length, we would be talking about the meter, um, but you know that's not what we're dealing with here. And then there's this other complicating thing called circular mills. Now, this particular video is about circular mill. And the reason I wanna go into it is it's sort of this, it's, it's sort of this unique to um, electricity world, electrical engineering world, way to define the uh, diameter, well, the area, excuse me, the area of wires. And there's a whole um, gauge, I mean, there's a whole designation, it's called American Wire Gauge, AWG. And you've heard these maybe before, like that's a number 16, you know, or that's a number 14 wire and what we want to do is we want to explore what that is okay and we'll get to that in a separate video but what i want to do with this one is define this thing called a circular mill all right now a circular mill is a defined quantity that is defined as this okay so first let's define what a mill is okay one mil is equal to one one thousandths of an inch. It's a very, very small number. And another way to write that is that there are a thousand mils in one inch, right? So we could go back and forth between those two things <clears throat> and they both mean the same thing. Now, if I were talking about a square mill, a square mill would be, you know, this. Say this is two, and this is two, <coughs> excuse me. The, the area of this, which is a square, would be two mils by two mils, or four square mils, okay? Well, we know that wire, is not measured or, or not made in squares, right? It's made circular, right? So we're gonna define a quantity that helps us deal with this. And that defined quantity is called the circular mill. And the circular mill 
is given as this. Okay, an area in circular mils is defined as the diameter in mils squared. Okay, now don't overthink. This is equation three two. Don't overthink that. Don't you know? Don't stress with it or anything. It's it's a defined quantity. It's by definition the area of a circular wire in circular mils is defined as this, okay? All right, and just, just run with it, go with it, and everything will be fine, all right? So if I wanted to uh, look at some particular examples of this, okay, if, if I looked at this particular problem here, the area here would be because this is a mill, and this is a mill across, right? And so if I wanted to know the, um, the area of this wire, it would be the area, oops, the area in circular mills is equal to diameter in mills squared. Okay, so this is a mill, and this is a mill. So all the way across there would be two mils. Two squared is four circular mils. This is a mill. This is a mill. This is a mill. The diameter is equal to three mils. The area in circular mils is three squared or nine circular mils. Okay, now. Um, I think it's, and I, I need to be consistent with this, but notice that I wrote this as this, and, and we should make a point to write this in terms of capital C, capital M, to make sure that we're distinguishing this between uh, centimeters and circular mils, okay? So, so there's, there's the definition of a circular mill. Now, the problems in this would kind of go like this, okay? So let's say that you had a wire, right? And well, maybe I actually have a picture of a wire. So let's see, do I have a picture of a wire? That might be a better thing to do. Okay, here's our wire. And of course this wire is showing this equation, right? And then now we've looked at the units of this, the areas in circular mills, right? And this is in feet and this is in, um, given to us as circular mirror ohms per foot. All right, so all these units work out. But let's say that we measured this wire across here and we saw that it was one eighth of an inch, okay? And I wanna determine what the circular mills of this wire is, okay? Now stick with me, all right? So this is one eighth of an inch from here to here. I can make that measure. Now, first thing I need to do is convert this fraction into a decimal. So one divided by eight is 0 0.125 inches. Okay, one inch contains a thousand mils. Okay. Inches cancel out. This is just moving the decimal three places, multiplying by a thousand. So this ends up being 125 mils. Okay, you're not done because you want to take that and the area in circular mils is equal to the diameter, okay, in mils squared. Okay. And for this particular problem, we'll go up here. That's going to be 125 squared. And that will equal uh, 15,625 circular meals. Okay? So that is that concept. That's what I want you to take away from this and just get that defined quantity of circular mills and make sure that you can apply equation 
three one. This guy here. This is three one and three two. Area in circular meals. Diameter in mils squared. Okay. All right, so let me stop that there and just make, that, make this video about circular meals.